Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I had someone comment on my last um, video I posted about a workout routine I do. Because I posted something about, you know, how to defend yourself and I also do a, work a workout routine. So I'm going to show you some things that I do to kind of stay in shape. It's, you have to do it quite a bit. You know, there's some improvements, but it's going to take us like a couple months or so to actually see difference. You know, it doesn't change overnight or a couple days, maybe a couple weeks, maybe you'll see a difference. So, um, this is just the regular, you know, rubber dumbbell. It's heavy, it weighs like, I think it's like five, five pounds. All right, so then I use cinder blocks, cement cinder blocks. I use these, and I go like, I go like that, and it works out the biceps. And I do the same for my other arm, and I have another one, you know. And these are like, I don't know, pretty heavy. They're, they're fucking cement. I do the same for each arm. For about maybe 20 reps of, you know, I do like 40 of those. 40 times, go up and down. And then I also use, hold on a second, I gotta get it. I also use a big ass 2x4. And I just go curls with it. And it works out your uh, your biceps too. And also, if you do it like this, you put it behind your your uh, your back and go like that, and it work out your shoulders. You can feel the burn when you do that. Um, so, <coughs> saying that <coughs> I do that, I do um maybe like a hundred jumping jacks. So. When you do jumping jacks, you know, hold on a second, <laughs> get all this stuff. When you do jumping jacks, you put your feet together, then you spread them, and then go in. Spread them and go in, go like that. Those are jumping jacks. I do about 100 of those uh, consistently, maybe take a second, and then keep going. Uh, sit-ups, I do sit-ups, I haven't done sit-ups in a little bit. Uh, crunchies, this is another one I do show you guys so a crunchy is not a sit up crunchy is a little bit different it works out your abdominal right here and I'll show you another trick with the cinder blocks involving your abs so when you do a crunchy go like this have your knees tucked in your knees tucked in and go like this I do about um, about a hundred, maybe a hundred or two hundred of those every workout, depending, um, on these, and these dumbbells are a good workout for your, another abs too. So, I'm going to show you guys this. This is kind of very difficult to do because it's involving a lot of strength. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put this dumbbell in between your feet and you're going to pull it up and pull in. So, my feet are like this, I'm gonna pull into my stomach. And it is difficult to do, so I recommend using like a five pound dumbbell. It's not so hard, but it does give you work on, it kinda does burn your thighs a little bit. So it is something you guys can do. It's super easy, it's, I saw it on one of these other videos and I tried it and it is difficult. Some people can do it, I can do it, I tried it. I can't do more than five though, cause it is hard. So what you're gonna do is kind of get in the picture and you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I got the dumbbell like this. And then you go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You need to hold on to a chair. Make sure you don't fucking fall over. Shit. You go you can go straight like this. That makes it harder. It gives you a little bit of burn. I do about uh, maybe 20. I did 45 of those. Um, what was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Um, I do that. Push ups, you know, just standard push ups. You can do push ups in different ways. Um, if I could show you, it's, oh, I need a tripod so bad. Hold on. 
So when you're doing a push up, you can do it like straight, or you can twist, like put your leg over the other, and do it that way, and and do it that way. Another way to do it. Um, <laughs> those are very simple things. And these uh, these cinder blocks. Another way to do it. Another way to work out your abs. The I I don't know if it's gonna work, but it should. Hopefully. Is that okay? So these have like no grip on them, so I use gloves once in a while to use these. So when you're doing them, you should try. Hopefully it'll work. You should go. You know. You know. Hold on, I can't even do it. Ah. So when you, you know, it's ah, I can't even do it right now. And go like that and twist your body, and it kind of will deform your your abs. You can do the same thing for the other hand or whatever. It just you know, and it starts to tighten all that. So that's what you should do. Um, I'm doing it, and then, you know, it's I'm not seeing progress yet because it still takes a long time to obviously, you know. Do it consistently. Um, but yeah, I would suggest if you guys have like no equipment at all, you know, find something heavy and just do curls with it or use it as what you can do with it. Like use whatever you can. I also have that. I kick and spar with it and hit it and it's good cardio for that. Jumping jacks is for cardio too. You know, you can do those nonstop. I've done like 200. Um, you know, good cardio, and you also there's stuff you can't do that you need like to run around the block and just sprint, you know, just get a good sweat on. But if you need, you need to make sure you're doing a a good workout because your arms need to be sore, or you know, a little bit, you know, sore or whatever. You know, my arms are not that sore, not really that much ever when I first started. You know, I started working out for a specific reason, not just to get in shape more but for a certain somebody um to get stronger you know and handle my business so <clears throat> that's what you guys should do you know you, if you want to build muscle and stop looking all you know flimsy and shit i'm skinny honestly so you know it's not i'm not buff i'm not even close to that i'm more lean you know and when i was doing those curls with those cinder blocks my some of my veins are starting to pop out on my left. My left is my weakest arm. My right is my strongest arm. Obviously, if you're a righty, your lefty, your left arm is not as strong. So, <clears throat> you need to do both your workouts equally. You know, you can do more than the other, but if you want to, you might want to do both that way. You don't have to make more time to do the left-handed more than the right arm or whatever. You know. <laughs> um. You need to bring a bottle of water, at least a bottle of water to finish it on your workout. That way it's energizing. You need to hydrate like throughout the week when you're working out. That way you can actually burn off that energy and fat because it's just going to be water and you're going to need to burn it off. And you need to be careful what you eat. Don't try to eat too much fat food because you're not going to see an improvement that fast or even at all. It's going to be hard to. Um, you know, don't try to eat too much junk food, you know. If you drink a lot of water, it's good for you. That way you can burn off all your calories and then you're going to work it out and work out all the water when you're working out. So that's what you should do. So when you're working out, you work off all the water you obtained over the week, a couple days or so. So that you should also do that. Um, I think that's about it though. That's all I really do. I also do... Oh, I got to find this. See that bar right there has tape on and do chin-ups on that. I'll show you guys in a second. I'll do a couple as you guys can see. I'm gonna turn off these speakers on. I got a bag right there, so it's kind of hard to see me doing it. If you have like a bar like this, um, you know, you can do it this way or you can do it this way. Either way it works. You know, I would at least do, if you have a spot to do and you can actually reach and pull yourself up, I would at least do maybe 
10 and then the next time you work out like skip that and the next day and try to do more than 10 like set a goal and push yourself as I do like I most I did was probably I think 15 20 not in a row though I can't I mean I can only do like six in a row but I take like a second or a minute and then try to do the rest and just keep pushing myself play music that you like probably rock or something that gets you pumped up it helps a lot it helps you push yourself you just you know work it out with nothing no motivation it's not gonna go that well so you need some motivation to keep yourself pumped and do all that stuff um, the guy that uh, commented on my video last on my last video is uh, ad ad adventure or something like that so shout out to him for um, suggesting this um, it doesn't mean I'm going to do every video you guys suggest me to do it's just something that, you know, kind of goes in my schedule that I could put out and show you guys. So, as I'm saying, I'm going to do a couple of chin-ups just to show you how it's done. There's a couple ways to do it. You can go all the way down or you can just go, you don't have to go all the way up. You know, this is holding this. It's about, I don't know, 20 pounds. It's going to be hard doing this, but yeah, I haven't done these in a while. I was locking him on this too. <laughs> so, you do that. Um, that's pretty much it though. Just, you know, if you don't have any weights, just fucking find a 2x4 or, or something heavy that you can, you know, fucking squat or something that's heavy that you can curl, you know, and actually feel, you can actually feel it working your arms out or whatever you're trying to work out. Um, you can, uh, <laughs> I haven't done this one yet, but you can also use the cinder blocks that I have. You know, my my mom's friend brought them here, and I've just been using them. So, like, when you can do a push-ups, they can go down and do that and all that kind of stuff. You be creative, you know. You can look it up online. Like, a lot of people don't have weights and shit, so they just find random shit, you know. I'm doing, like, fucking rocky shit, like, you know. He didn't have any weights and shit. So he pretty much just got shit that he found, you know. That 2x4 surgery is not really heavy. You know, it's kind of long, but it's kind of heavy. It's like maybe 5 pounds or something. Like, I don't know how how heavy it is because I don't have a, a, um, a scale or whatever. But it's a decent amount and it gives me some of a, somewhat of a workout, you know, until I get equipment, which is very expensive to get equipment. So if you have the money to do get equipment I would you know there's a lot more that you could do so you know just you gotta be creative in what you want to work out honestly if you need help just you know, look up videos on YouTube or whatever and you know there's their own workouts on there too so you know they'll tell you there's MMA conditioning workouts all that stuff so um that's pretty much it, guys. I don't really have much to say. I'm not going to really work out, you know, in front of you guys. I just find that kind of weird or whatever, you know. I'd rather play music and work out and do it myself. But I can't do that because it'd be copyrighted or, or something like that. So, as I'm saying that, um, that's what you guys should do. You guys should do. I'm going to set a goal at least for you guys. So, um, if I do chin-ups, I do about maybe 10 or 15, not consistently, maybe six consistently or seven. Um, uh, I would say do about 50 or a hundred push-ups, you know, you could switch it up like I did, put your feet over the other one or leg over the other one, whatever. Uh, crunchies, you guys should be able to do 200 or a hundred easily it won't even burn you a lot sit-ups will probably get your stomach burning so i would say maybe do like 50 of those and if you got something to lift your arms and work out your arms and do like maybe 20 uh 20 or 50 um curls with that weight for each arm um uh, i think that's pretty much it though yeah that's pretty much it if you got something to do other curls, like a 2x4 or something, you know, you do it that way too. 
just get a workout, you know, play some music that gets you, you know, riled up and you actually want to work out, you know, if you don't, if you're going to work out once and think you're going to see improvements and quality, you're not going to see it. It's going to, it takes a while because, you know, you have to build all the muscles that are not there and they have to form over time and it still takes a while for that to happen. Like, like my muscles aren't that big, but, you know, and they have tone, you know, so I have tone. I don't have a lot, but I got tone. This is my strongest arm, you know, and I got some tone, all that bumps and shit. Those are just muscles and veins, you know, and I got like three veins. You can't really see it on camera, but, you know, I'm trying to work on my abs and stuff, you know, I can't, that's as far as I can do. You can't really see it, you know. You you want to be able to see your abs. You can't just, you know, eat fat shit and you're going to expect to see it. No, you have to um, work at it over time. And, it's some, and it will show. You do a good workout and you feel kind of sore and shit, that's, that's a good thing. It's going to happen. You don't have to work out every day. You can do every other day or whatever, but you need to... Be a little bit on it, you know, make time, even if it's like a 10 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever. I do about maybe a half an hour. I don't know, maybe an hour. I don't really keep track, but yeah, I, it's it's okay for me. Uh, uh, I'm not really sore though, but I'm still working out my muscles, you know. It takes time. I don't push my, I, I feel the burn when I'm doing it, so that, that does count. Um, but you know, you guys can do sit-ups and all that crutches and push-ups. You really need equipment, you know. That dumbbell thing I was showing you guys with the legs, that will work out your abs a lot. And it does burn, and trust me, and you'll feel it. Um, you won't feel it in your necessarily abs, I don't think, because I haven't yet. But, um, yeah, it does burn. It burns your, your inner thighs or so, and it feels like it's working out that, but... It may be working out your abs and your thighs. I don't know. I don't know. I've only just started doing it. So, um, that's pretty much it, I think. So, I'm going to end this right now so I can post this so my phone doesn't just shut off for a recording because I had to delete my last video so I could record a, a video that's like 18, 20 minutes long. So, I'm going to end it here, guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for the person that commented. Check out his channel, guys. I really appreciate it. And if the guy, the guy that commented on my status or my post or whatever, or video, whatever you want to call it, you know, if you have subscribed to me, subscribe to me and give me more, you know, um, ideas. And doesn't mean I'll do all of them, but I want to be a little bit different than a, another YouTubers to do. They don't really talk to their fans that much or whatever. You know, some of them do ideas from fans, some of them don't. Um, he's not. I don't think he's a subscriber, but if you have a subscribe, please do it now. That would be awesome. Um, you know, I do a lot of gaming videos, a lot of... I don't really do pranks anymore. I did, but I don't anymore. So, um, if you could do that, man, tell your friends and have them come over to my channel. I just gave you a shout out, so hopefully they come and see you guys. He commented on my last video, so you have to look for him. His name's Adventure 28 so if you check him out, I don't think he has any subscribers. I checked. I don't think he does. Uh, so check him out. You know, subscribe to him. Help him out, you know. And hopefully that helps him out and hopefully helps me out too. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Be positive. And just do this workout and it should get you with some kind of uh, improvements because it is a little bit half for me so far. But it's going to take time, so remember that. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye.